Hello everyone. Welcome to the MS PowerPoint course. In this course, we ensure that you become an expert in MS PowerPoint. So watch all our videos to master this wonderful skill. Before that, hit the bell icon and subscribe to our channel so that you're not missing any upcoming video from us. Let's get started with some basics of MS PowerPoint. We'll be starting firstly with the home menu. Okay, before anything else, let's understand the home menu. So I'm going to create a blank presentation here, right? And in order to create a blank presentation, the shortcut is control plus N. Okay, guys, keep on taking notes for shortcuts. Control plus N. Control shortcuts are to be pressed together. Odd shortcuts are to be pressed separately. So control N if you press together, you're going to reach to a new file. Now let's understand the home menu and specifically in home menu, we'll be covering the slides part, which you see here, the slides menu options. Okay. The first option that we have here is new slide. So if you click on it, a replica of the slide, which is there just above or with the one that you've already selected will be created. So if I select new slide and I click on this button instead of the arrow, a fresh slide has been created for me. Right. If I go to new slide as an arrow sign, I can choose from this predefined themes, which Excel has laid out for me. So if you see as a comparison, there are two objects, which are in this one, I can insert this and show you, right? There are two objects, which I can insert this predefined text boxes. And this is like a structured way of working in MS PowerPoint. If you're starting with the very basics, you use these predefined templates with you. Right. This is like a title content and a header. Correspondingly, this is a section header. Right. And so on and so forth. This is a picture with caption. But my personal favorite, okay, my personal favorite is the blank slide option. Why? Because I'm not governed with any of the template rules which are there in all of these slides. Right. Of course, you can delete all of them and create it uh, as a blank slide also. Right. I'm going to delete this. Now my slide is blank. Right. It's as effective as a blank slide. But what I want to tell you is if you're fresh to PowerPoint, if you're new to PowerPoint, try working on the predefined pieces so that you're able to create the slides in a structured manner. And as and when you progress and you become handsy with uh, PowerPoint more and more, you can create a blank slide and then you can customize it according to your own choice. You can define where your text goes. Right. So probably. I'll say this is where my text goes. Right. And I can create a copy of it all throughout. Right. And I can insert probably a shape here. Right. So this is how my slide is going to look. This is none of the custom templates that I've used, right? This is a blank slide and I've configured it or I've created objects according to my choice. Right. Perfect. You can create a duplicate slide, slides from outline, reuse slide. All of these are just customizable options, not much of use. If you want to create a duplicate slide, just right click on that particular slide and click on duplicate. Right. An exact replica of that slide would be created. If you see, this is one, this is another one. I'm clicking on two different sites here and just enlarge this to show you. This is the duplicate that I've created. Okay. Back here, how about layout? Layout is used to change the layout of an existing slide. So in new slide, we were inserting a new slide. The layouts are of course the same, but using the layout option, if this is my slide, okay, this has a title and an object here. I go to layout and make it a comparison view. The current slide layout would be changed. Okay. I can go to layout and select blank in order to make it as a black layout. I can go back to layout and say content with caption. It will give me a corresponding template ready. Okay. These are the very basics which we need to cover, right? Reset. Reset means if I actually change the existing template format and I'm dragging those stuffs here and there, right? You see, I've disrupted this format for this particular step, right? 
dragged it outside, change the corresponding alignment. Right. If I click on reset, it will reset those positions according to the original slide layout. As soon as I clicked on reset, those objects are brought back to the screens where they actually were. Right. And before I give you time to practice this four options, I would like to tell you the section fee. Okay, the most important and a very well organization tool provided by PowerPoint. How does this work? I select the first three slides, okay, and I click on section and say add section. Now, firstly, all of these slides have been added to a section. Why? Because there is no further bifurcation which we've created. Right. So this I can term as introductory section. Right. So I right click on it, click on rename, and I name it introduction. Rename. Right. Now, after introduction, I I think the first three slides I keep as introduction, select the remaining ones, go to section and say add section. Another section has been added for me. You see, I'm going to zoom in. This is introduction with three slides and then I have untitled section as new section. Let me rename this one. This one I need name as body of PPT. Right. So if you see the name body of PPT has been given. How does this actually help us uh, from a practical perspective, from actually creating a PowerPoint perspective? If you see, if I deselect this introduction piece, or if I click on this arrow and summarize or collapse this particular introduction piece, I cannot change the introduction slides now, right? Because they've been hidden. This helps me focus on the body of PPT slides and I can make all the amendments, dragging options, or whatever I want to do with, to, with body of PPT slides. Right, so I'm very sure that my introduction section remains as it is, the way I've left. Right, this is where this comes helpful, that if you want to focus on only one section of a PowerPoint, this is how you focus yourself there. Similarly, I can take the last slide and I can insert another section. And this one, I'm going to name as conclusion. Right. So if I close body of PPT and introduction, I can just work on the conclusion slide and no other slide would be affected. Even the chances of errors are reduced to a minimum. 